let me double back to this Vic guy. I mean, so far everything's been on the record. Let me know if we cross a boundary. You don't want to get involved with it. Just tell me off the record or I'd rather not comment. I'm totally open. Yeah. I, I've been open about everything. I don't know what people think. Okay. All right, cool. So this Vic guy, what's his last name? Do you know? Victor Victor what? Cooper. Cooper. All right. And he's like some local like big shot that she's with? No, Maybe. just a freaking, well, just a well, dude who's a tiny, a tiny little man that smells, sells crack and has a couple guns. He's he's a little sissy. He's I've seen him almost get his ass whooped and I had to come outside. This was years ago and help him intimidate the dudes that were trying to whoop him. He's a pussy. Sorry. Right. Yeah. He's, no, no. <laughs> no I, I get it. Um, does he have social media? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. So, no, no. Okay. But right. you would be able to look up like the rest record and shit. No, I'm, I'm sure. I'll, I'll take a look. All right. Well, I mean, that's uh, if true. Those are all like insane allegations. Uh, mm -hmm. But have worse things happened in America? Yeah. So I mean, it makes sense. Uh, just, what about uh, like all the men that Erica allowed around? Gracie that just obviously were grooming her and, and influencing her with all those I mean it's also Vic, Vic too obviously he, there's probably a chance he was well someone said that they saw my brother smoking crack with Gracie and so I want I would like to know where that was at and who's seen it yeah I remember going uh, into Gracie well Erica and Gracie's house one time and your brother and uh, Brittany and Erica and I think maybe Liz, but I can't say for sure, were all there. And Gracie was sitting in her room by herself. Um, and Erica, I went back and said hi to Erica. She was back there smoking crack like a crazy person. And Gra I went in Gracie's room and checked on her and she was just sitting there looking so sad. Wow. Yeah, it's, she was failed. In her whole life, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the, you know, just on a different little tangent. Uh, the GoFundMe was it successful? Did it help at all in any way? Uh, let me talk about that. So we raised about ten grand. My go, mm -hmm. the one that I created. Right. Uh, Erica reported it as fraudulent. Uh, so it got all messed up, but eventually after weeks, it was given to the funeral home after a bunch of drama, a bunch of the town making up rumors, um, that I was, you know, spending it on other stuff and taking money for myself. Um, Erica created one as well. I think it reached like 600 and the guy that raised Gracie won, he raised one that raised like 900. Uh, so all together close to well south and she had a very very she had her cremated she had a very very private small uh, you know like memorial right after the that and then the burial her uh her spot like um her spot where she's buried was donated so she didn't have to pay for that okay i think the headstone possibly was even donated but don't take my word um yeah those, those were expensive um she had like an after party type thing at, mm. at the park um so i think for the amount we raised um no it did not <laughs> yeah come here what could have been done for gracie now why would she report the gofundme is this just out of spite because she wanted more control over it she wanted it to be all about her she, yeah. she wanted it to be all about her and she said i didn't have permission to create the gofundme well i did have permission i had permission um her aunt and her grandma and her sister that me too because i knew erica is an addict and her the rest of her family was sober like they had no idea what was even going on they just knew nobody get a hold of Erica all the day the day Gracie was found and I had to tell them that Gracie Right, right. 
so yeah. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate. I know it's tough to talk about, so I appreciate you guys opening up about it. Is there anything else you guys wanted to add? Um, specifically, I can put into the the article about the the Gracie story that people may not know. You know, because I know when the media puts their stories out, uh, they they're very careful with with what they say. But we're kind of different here. We 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 want the truth. I mean, yeah, I think more attention know. should be on the people I mean, that Erica allowed in Gracie's life, and those people right. were pieces of shit. And I think a lot of attention should be brought to that. Right. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to go ahead and do that. Um, Oh, that's the main thing that we right yeah because when we wrote our first story on this it the the focus was on doll and the fact that he shouldn't have been out but it sounds like and that's true it's like but it sounds like the doll situation would have been irrelevant had her life been on a better trajectory yeah prior. yeah if she had a mom that cared more about her than crack yep. yeah yeah yeah, that's, that's wild. Mike, is there anything else you want to add? No, that's it, man. I, I appreciate uh, what you're doing. And uh, Beth, I appreciate you as well. So if there's anything else I can add or any, any you, in the future, just let me know. I got I got social media as well. So Awesome. Yeah, we, you know, you have an open line. You can you can reach out to us uh, directly if you want to work through Beth to get in touch with me. If there's something happens, if there's a development, just let me know. Um, and we'll go ahead and get it out there. And uh, Beth, if you want to talk about, you know, your, uh, you said you had a podcast. I checked it out. It seemed pretty cool. Um, I know you're trying to, to do that. So why don't you let me know about all that and then uh we'll make sure to add that as well yeah i do um i've changed the name a couple times at first it was controversial convictions and hometown homicides all of my in DeKalb County. Um, and then I kind of, after the new year, I kind of wanted to give it a new vibe and switch it up and be more direct with people. Because um, I'm covering the crazy case a lot and there's a lot of drama with it. So I'm kind of just like, screw it. I'm going to be honest with people. So I changed the name to uh, Crime Time Tea Time, a mm -hmm. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'm I may cover right now the Gracie story because that's the big thing going on right now. Uh, but I have covered uh, the Jack McCullough case, the disappearance case in the United States, um, William Curl, uh, which is another murder that happened in DeKalb, um, a couple others. Um, and then, you know, I have a few others that I have uh somewhat kind of personal connections to that i plan on doing in the future now, now prior to this did you uh have you always been interested in like the true crime stuff yeah yeah that's something i've always wanted to do is uh ever since i was little my dad and i would have friends with files so at first i wanted to be a detective